Greetings and welcome back. Tambucha here and I am back in Archcraft Linux. I got a video I want to show you. I've been playing around with customizing Openbox earlier and we'll just play the video and show you what I did. So here there's proof that I am in Archcraft Linux. And so here what I want to show you first is if you go to preferences, open box settings, this is the open box configuration manager. And you notice here when I open my file manager as full screen, there's some padding. There's some padding around all the sides of it basically. So what I want to do is I want to change that padding. So you notice I went to the margins tab and then I'm just going to change the padding of 10 to 0 on the left, right, and bottom sides. And we're going to test it out if it works. Once you change it, it should change on the fly in OpenBox. And uh, we're going to open Thunar, maximize it, and you notice there's no more padding on the sides and the bottom. But there is still on the top, so we're going to reduce it by 4 pixels and see what happens here. And you notice the padding got reduced in size and we're going to reduce it to four more pixels and you know what that's nice there's a little sliver sliver of padding there but i like it like that and i'm going to keep it like that so we're basically done with padding next thing i want to do is you notice here in the themes section there's a lot of nice themes that come pre-installed with archcraft and a lot of them are customized by the developer himself but there's two themes that look kind of the same you notice here Juno Mar uh, Mirage here and Krypton so the Krypton theme I like what I like about it is these icons here they're more, a little more uh, vibrant in colors and it's a little bigger and I actually like this size better but what I like about the Juno Mirage is I like the color of this highlight here and the, the, menu, uh, the menu title color also. So what I want to do is I want to make a combined theme, kind of hack them together. So I'll have these window decorations but with uh, these colors for the highlight and the menu title. So I'm going to fast forward the video a bit and just get to the point. So. What you want to do first is you want to go to user slash share slash themes. So, oops, I fast forwarded too much. So what you're going to do, well, what I did was I right clicked on these two to copy and I'm going to, I'll show you in a sec. Let's, so right click and copy and then we're going to navigate to my home folder. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder named dot themes. So the dot themes folder is recognized by Linux and this is where your uh, local themes go. So the global themes are in user share themes and the local themes are in a hidden folder called dot themes, which are in your home directory. And the local folder, your, the one in your home folder, will always override the global ones if they, are, if they have the same name. So lo once again, local themes take precedence over global themes. So anyways, that was just a side note. So I copied those two themes over. And what I'm going to do is since I'm making a new hashed or hacked theme, I'm going to rename this one to Krypton Mirage. And now we're going to navigate to the Juno Mirage theme into the open box directory. And I want to copy this um, file over. So first I'm going to rename it to themerc-juno-mirage. And then I'm going to navigate to the Krypton Mirage theme. going to paste it here and you'll see why in a sec. So I don't need this theme anymore. We're going to delete it. And then we're going to navigate back to the, the, this folder, the open box folder. And I'm going to open the Juno Mirage theme with one text header 
editor. So we're gonna open it with um, Vim. Let's actually, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm just showing you the Juno Mirage theme. So basically it's the Krypton theme renamed. So OpenBox already detected it, but nothing has changed. So it's basically the Krypton theme right now. Nothing, it looks basically the same because it is the same. So uh, you notice that I opened the Juno Mirage theme with a text editor, Vim, and I'm gonna open this one here with Genie. And so this is basically just to compare the two. And so here I wanna look for um, menu.title.text.color and I'm gonna take the color of this theme here of this title uh, this entry here menu.title.text.color and I'm gonna copy it over to the one in the new theme so here I'm just searching for it we'll fast forward it a bit but basically here here I found it here and I'm just gonna change this color here to this color here FFCC 6, 6 and then after that's done just hit save and then we're just going to test it out and see if anything has changed so back to the krypton mirage theme and i right click and you notice here this title so basically that's the uh, menu dot title dot text dot color entry that's what it changes it changes this so that worked and then we're just going to fast forward a bit and now we're going to look for something else. So we're going to look for menu.items.active.bg which is background.color and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look for it in here in the new theme. So there it is and then we're going to just match the color of the Juno Mirage theme. So FFCC. 6.6 six. and these are hexadecimal format by the way so any val any digit is valid between 0 and F. F is your highest digit. So here you notice now in the Krypton Mirage theme this has changed also. So back to the Krypton theme you, it's, it's a light blue color and the Krypton Mirage has the yellowish color there. So that was just a quick introduction of how you can hack themes, mash them together in OpenBox. And here I'm going back to the menu, um, go to OpenBox settings, and if I open it back again, you can see the OpenBox Configuration Manager has been refreshed and now it sees or it displays the appropriate colors for the Krypton Mirage theme. So that's all I wanted to show you. We'll just get out of that. Okay, so the final thing I want to show you is how to edit your key bindings in OpenBox. So if you're in Archcraft, all you gotta do is go to Preferences, Open Box, and Edit RC.XML file. Now here, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backup. So here I'm gonna call the backup file RC-Original.XML. And then I'm just gonna open back the the main one, the rc.xml file. This is the one that OpenBox actually reads. The other one was just a backup. And here there's more settings other than key bindings, but I'm just gonna show you key bindings here. So we're gonna look for Genie. All right, so here Genie, you noticed here that the key binding for Genie is W-E. That means the window key and the letter E key combined. So the window key, I call it the super key, but on my keyboard it has a Windows logo, so it's understandable why it's called the Windows key. From here on, 
though in this video I'm just going to call it the super key. But in Archcraft it's W plus E, right? So I'm going to change it to my preference which is uh, W and G. But we'll see some of the key bindings here. So you notice Thunar is super plus F, so we're going to change it to super E and Genie is going to be super G. And then there's a bunch of other ones. Network Manager, I don't need that. So Super End, I'm going to use for Nitrogen. And let's see what else. This one here, I'm just going to delete. But if you delete something in uh, the, the key bindings, make sure you delete the entire tag. So this is the beginning of the tag. It starts with key bind. And this is the end of the tag. It ends with a slash. So make sure you delete the whole thing and don't say delete it partially and then it might screw up your open box um, and it might not start properly or you might not have a window or something like that. But uh, that's just to note. So here I'm deleting the whole thing. And here you notice there's a bunch of other key bindings that are um, uh, pre-installed or predefined in Archcraft. There's one here you notice for XFCE terminal also, so that's Control Alt T, and Vim Control Alt V, Ranger Control Alt R. Um, here for HTOP, I usually use Super H, so I'm going to change that because I'm familiar with that um, shortcut or key binding, and um, we'll just fast forward this video a bit. You notice there's Control Alt M also. Um, that's a music player. So, in my original Archcraft video, I said there's no music player. There's none in the menu, but apparently there is um, in the key binding. So, Control Alt M. But, uh, anyways, that was just a quick rundown of how you can change your key bindings and all you have to do to basically say uh, to um, make them active is you save the file then you log out and log back in so you see here the video is logging out and that'll be the end of the video so I'm gonna close the video and I'm gonna close this and I'll show you the key bindings that I set for it actually we're gonna well, that's my screen recorder but we're gonna close all this and then so I set it to super T, I'm going to enter super T, there's my terminal, Alt F4 to close, super G, there's Genie, super H, H top, super W, that one was already there by default, but that's what I use normally anyways, that's the browser, and so you kind of get the gist of it, and then there was a few I remember that was um, predefined, so we'll try Control Alt M, that's the open box media player I guess and we'll alt F4 to close that and then we'll try um, super super M and you notice this is a Rofi music player so there was a mu music player it just wasn't in the menu but um, yeah alt F4 I guess can't escape that but if I click on the mouse anywhere on the desktop it um, removes that so yeah that was a quick introduction of how to change the key bindings in your rc.xml file and once again it's in your home folder in .config and if you navigate to open box you notice it's right here and if by chance you screwed it up what you gotta do is you gotta log out right um, and log back into a different window manager Archcraft has BSP WM so I would log out, but log back into BSPWM. I would delete this, and then I would just rename this one to rc.xml, and then log, uh, just re-log into OpenBox, and uh, it's back to normal. And here you notice it's this is where the auto start file is as well. And uh, these other things, I haven't fooled around with it, but I know this is where the um, polybar themes reside. Right, some of them I don't like. I'm probably gonna, if I right click here, you notice preferences, um, open box. So edit auto start. So that was 
this file here, right? Open box, um, where is it? Edit menu, I don't fool around with the menu. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna fool around with that, but I did show you the rc.xml and auto start I think I showed you in a previous video. And um, these things are unique to Archcraft. The developer added a bunch of other customizations and a bunch of stuff in here. Um, themes, these are the polybar themes like I said earlier. And if I go to preferences and go to, um, where was it? I'm trying to think. Preferences? Change style. It's change style. So you notice here, there's all the theme names. You got adaptive there, beach, default, easy for us. So I didn't like the last two, so they're called Spark and Wave. So you know what? I'm going to delete those two. There you go. And if I go back to preferences, um, change style with it, you notice those got deleted. So in here, one of my uh, subscribers asked if I could make a video on Polybar, but uh, I responded I'm fairly new to, to Polybar. I kind of know what's going on here though. Like um, this is the main um, initiation script for it. So if I open it up with Genia, uh, and this main script opens or loads these these four any scripts as well. So it's basically instead of combining it into one giant config dot ini script, um, it got divided into a bunch of them, but these are included into this script here. And uh, yeah, I did fool around with it a bit. I just looked at it a bit. So modules.ini, um, you notice these icons here. So this is for this, I believe. Where is it? Percentage, where's the module name? Module backlight, so yeah. So I could probably delete that because I don't, this is a desktop, not a laptop. And if I didn't want these, I would have to look for these and remove this out of the modules.ini script. But before that, I would probably um, make a copy and rename it to uh, backup or original. I'll just name it to back this time because I'm lazy. So there, and you know what? I think I'm just gonna fool around with this. You know what, no, that's for another video. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video for today, you guys. I, those tips I hope you found were informative. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for today. I have an idea of starting a new video of how to install Antics, which I didn't cover. I covered it in my last video, but I didn't go to uh, an in-depth video of how to install and customize it, as well as perhaps Puppy Linux in the future. But um, that's all for my Archcraft settings. It's looking pretty good to me. I don't know how much more I want to customize this. It's very in a very usable state. I got my key bindings. The look and feel of it is nice. Um, I might tweak it a little more, but not much more than this. This is pretty very usable as a daily driver. And so I'm starting to ramble, so <laughs> I'm going to cut myself short. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. Tambucha signing out.